So I'd like to thank uh, the organizers of this workshop. So here are the contents of my presentation. Firstly, I talk about uh, the posterior of neural networks is uh, highly singular. Then I introduce Bayesian learning, and then I show learning curve is given by bi-rational invariance. And lastly, uh, I show an example of uh, generalization loss can be estimated by cross-validation and WAIC. So let me now go on to my first point. Posterior of neural network is highly singular. Let us see the true posterior distribution. So you know very well uh, the deep learning, uh, a deep network or a layered neural network. Here, x is an input, and uh, the output is a function of x and the parameter w. From the mathematical point of view, the map from the parameter w to the function f is not injective. Uh, this map is not one to one. Hence, uh, the derivative of f is, is not linearly, uh, is not linearly independent. This is linearly dependent as a function of x. So a uh, mathematical method was not established in this case. This figure shows the posterior distribution of a, a simplest layered neural network. This is a neural network of one input unit, one hidden unit, and one output unit. Simplest case, b and a are parameters. So uh, these are posterior distributions. Here you can find the true parameter, but the posterior distributions are widely distributed uh, on the parameter space. In this case, n is uh, the sample size, n is 100. So uh, these figures show the case, n is equal to 10,000. Even in this case, the posterior distributions are widely distributed. So um, uh, uh, if you are a statistician, you know the asymptotic normality of the maximum likelihood estimator. But <coughs> in this case, the log likelihood function cannot be approximated by any normal distribution. So uh, the posterior is highly singular. We need new mathematics. So uh, which brings me to my the next point, uh, Bayesian learning. For singular learning machines, Bayesian learning makes the generalization loss uh, smaller. So this is the definition of the Bayesian learning. Here, xi1, xi, yi are the, uh, the sample. Uh, this is independent, uh, really taken from the true distribution q of x and the q of y for given x. Learning machine is represented by the conditional probability distribution, p of y for given x and parameter w. Here, phi is a prior. You can use any prior. Uh, in a regression case, uh, if, you, if you use a, a layered neural network F, then uh, P, uh, the conditional probability distribution P, is represented by this uh, exponential function. And so the minus log likelihood function is given by this equation. Uh, this is the minus sum of log likelihood. The posterior distribution, or the Bayesian, Posterior distribution uh, is given by this equation. Here, EW means the posterior mean or the posterior average using the posterior distribution. The predictive distribution is defined by this equation. The posterior distribution of y for given x uh, is defined by the average over the posterior distribution of a statistical model, P. So uh, the purpose of the predictive distribution is to estimate the true distribution of Q of Y for given X. So um, we ask how, 
how, how accurate P star is. Uh, so we define two, uh, two losses. The first, I define the generalization loss, G. G is defined by the uh, expectation of, of log P star, log P star uh, Y of X. This is a predictive distribution. Here, uh, EXY means uh, 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 testing. Uh, the, uh, EXY means the average for the testing, uh, testi testing data. So training loss is defined by this equation. Um, here, xi and yi are uh, 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 the, uh, the training data. So uh, this is an empirical sum of the log loss function. If true conditional probability density q uh, is realizable by a statistical model p, then uh, g and t uh, converge to S. Here, S is the entropy of the true conditional distribution. So let me now go on to the third point. Learning curve is given by birational invariance. To study singular learning machines, algebraic geometry is necessary. Uh, this figure shows uh, a learning curve. Here, the horizontal line shows a number of a number of training data, n is a sample size. So uh, you can find S, S is the uh, entropy of the true conditional distribution. Uh, so uh, S is a true uh, entropy. Then we can prove the expectation of the generalization loss is asymptotically equal to the S plus lambda over n. Here, lambda is a constant. I explain lambda later. Uh, expectation means uh, uh, the expectation over all training, training data. Training data. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, so that the expectation of the training loss is given by the. Uh, true entropy, and lambda minus 2 nu over n. Here, i explain lambda and nu later. Uh, these are asymptotical equalities. Lambda and nu are birational invariants. Lambda is a real log canonical threshold. I do not have time to explain uh, this uh, these uh, birational invariants, but lambda is very famous birational invariant in high dimensional algebraic geometry. So algebraic geometers know lambda. Uh, for uh, concrete learning machines, the concrete uh, values of lambdas are uh, um, derived in many papers. Nu is a singular fluctuation. Nu, is fu nu was found in ma uh, machine learning. This is a new by rational invariance. If uh, the derivative of f is linearly independent, then lambda equals nu equals t over 2, where d is the dimension of the parameter space. But in general, uh, lambda and nu are different from t over 2. So I explain the cross validation. In 1998, Gelfand uh, showed uh, this, show this theorem. Uh, the important sampling cross validation is defined by this equation. See, it's given by the empirical sum of log. Uh, this is a posterior average of the 1 over p. P is a, uh, p is a learning machine. So uh, we can show uh, the expectation of g is equal to expectation of C. And uh, this is a one, uh, this is a, a, a one, one over n, n square. So uh, you can calculate cross validation loss using only one posterior distribution. So uh, the cross important sampling cross validation is very useful method in statistics. Uh, thus it is very famous in statistics. 
Epiphany, a statistician, Epiphany proves that if a leverage sample point is contained in the data, then uh, the, this expectation does not exist. Here, a leverage sample point, this is a definition. Uh, a leverage sample point is defined as a sample point that affects the statistical estimation results strongly, very strongly. So uh, recently, uh, Vitae and Gelman proposed approximation of uh, important sampling uh, by using Pareto distribution. Uh, they call this method as uh, uh, Pareto smoothed important sampling, cross-validation. So I introduce information criterion. Uh, uh, recently, we defined the widely applicable information criterion. Uh, w is defined by the sum of t and the variance. Here, t is a training loss. And uh, this part is a variance of the posterior distribution of log likelihood. Thus, uh, we can calculate this, um, uh, this value uh, very easily. So it was proved the expectation of G is uh, symptotically equal to the expectation of W. This equation holds even if the posterior distribution is singular. Or and even if the post, uh, even if the true distribution is not contained in a statistical model. So um, this is a generalized version of AIC, Akaike Information Criterion. Uh, if uh, these functions are linearly independent, then uh, this part is equal to d over n. Here, d is the dimension of the parameter space and n is the sample size. This is called AIC. In this case, in this regular case, cross-validation and WIC are equivalent in, in the higher order, uh, one over two, uh, one over n square. So uh, this slide shows the difference between cross-validation and information criteria. Cross-validation requires that xi and yi is independent, both independent. But information criteria, AIC, WIC, uh, require that uh, the conditional independent. Uh, so uh, yi is, uh, th th uh, this page shows um, yi, uh, yi is conditionally dependent for given xi. This condition is weaker than this condition. So we can apply the um, information criteria widely, more widely than the uh, cross validation. Lastly, I show uh, generalization loss can be estimated by cross validation and WAIC. Uh, so uh, this is an example. Here, uh, uh, this true distribution is estimated by using a neural, very simple neural network. In this case, the input is two-dimensional two and the output is one-dimension. So uh, this is a neural network. Here, uh, this is a true distribution. The input is uh, x, uh, the horizontal line is an x1 and the vertical line x2. So uh, this is a, a conditional probability of y for given x and y. Uh, here, y is almost uh, 1, and here, y is equal, almost equal to 0. Uh, these are um, uh, training data. So um, this is uh, um, estimated uh, Bayesian predictive distribution. The estimated, uh, this is the estimation of the true distribution. And here you can find uh, generalization loss, cross validation, uh, WIC and AIC. Training data are independently generated. So uh, the predictive distribution is determined by the training data. Here you can find the AIC. The, uh, these are generalization loss 
WAIC and the important sampling cross validation. Here uh, you find that uh, important sampling cross validation and WAIC can estimate the generalization loss. However, AIC overestimates the generalization loss in this case. Uh, now let me uh, in, uh, let me uh, introduce a, a, a simple model selection problem. Yeah, uh, this is a, a layered neural network. Uh, the input, uh, uh, the dimension of the input is ten, and the output is also ten. Uh, so uh, the true this uh, true uh, distribution is made by uh, input input units ten units, five units, and output units ten units. Then we prepared the candidates. Candidates are made of uh, 10 input units, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 hidden units, and 10 units. Uh, the number of training data, n, uh, the sample size, n is equal to 200, and the test, test data uh, uh, consists of 1,000 uh, data. Yeah, posterior distribution was approximated by Langevin equation, which converges to as a posterior distribution as, as, uh, as a posterior sample size uh, tends to infinity. So these figures show the, uh, uh, show the experimental results. Uh, horizontal line shows the number of, can uh, the num the number of hidden units of candidates, uh, hidden units. Here are, are these are generalization losses. So generalization losses are smallest at the true. This figure shows uh, WAIC, and this figure shows the cross validation loss. And the last one is AIC. AIC is overestimated the generalization loss. However, in this case, the true is, uh, true is rigorously equal to uh, this case. Hence, uh, uh, the, true uh, the true distribution can be, uh, could be chosen by any information criteria in this case. <laughs> so this experiment, uh, this experimental sh thi uh, so this experiment shows uh, the difference between the cross-validation and WAIC in regression. Uh, this is a simple, uh, simple uh, regression. If a leverage, uh, a leverage sample point was controlled, WAIC and CV uh, cross validation were compared with the generalization loss. Here, uh, the, uh, here the uh, sample size was 10, and the last sample uh, is a leverage sample. The place of the leverage sample point um, is here. So uh, this figure shows the experimental results. Uh, the horizontal line shows the place of the uh, leverage sample, and the red line shows the cross validation, and blue line shows WAIC, and, gener uh, and the uh, black line shows the generalization. In this case, the cross validation is different from WAIC, and cross validation cannot uh, estimate the generalization loss because. Uh, uh, Leverage sample is contained in the training data. OK, that's all. Thank you. OK, so time for questions and comments. Uh, you said cross validation is taking expectation over joint distribution. But WAIC is conditional. Would you explain that part a bit more? You are taking the expectation anyway over training data. Uh, I, I thought so the, the real, uh, mathematical reason, uh, you need mathematical reason. <laughs> uh, okay, my question is not that technical uh, I just wanted to clarify. In, in the regression problem, uh, if, if you use cross validation, you need uh, 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 independence of x, y, and y. Yeah. But, uh, but, but if you use uh, information criterion, then uh, uh, you need only the conditional independence. So X can be fixed. X can be fixed, or X uh, can be dependent. Mm -hmm. 
Thus, you can use uh, 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 information criterion in time series analysis. Well, when you take the uh, evaluated uh, generalization error asymptotically, you have the mm -hmm. E symbol. Uh -huh. The E it was taken over yeah. joint density. Right? So, uh, in, in conditionally independent case, we have to define how to uh, uh, how to uh, uh, calculate the average or over x. So, um, uh, so, so that means that, that e can be different from the expectation of a joint distribution. <laughs> In, in this case, uh, the, uh, the ex expectation is take, taken as uh, on the sample point, empirical sample point. Okay. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Any other questions or comments? Could you point us to a reference where we can find the details of this? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, please, uh, please use uh, some uh, uh, internet. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can find many, many papers. Okay, any others? So, uh, I have one well, question. So, y you showed a theorem saying that our uh, expectation of G is equal to the expectation of yeah. W plus higher order times one over square N. And there, could, could you say, uh, well, something about the variance or devia deviation of the G and C or G and the W maybe in the next slide? Uh, uh, so uh, I, I do want to know uh, uh, the, the variance of G and C. Yeah, th this is just for expectation, expectation. but uh, we, yeah. we have yeah, one yeah, sample yeah. and there uh, we have some deviation. Uh, asymptotically <coughs> speaking, uh, G minus <coughs> entropy and uh, uh, the variance of G minus entropy is asymptotically equal to the variance C minus uh, empirical entropy. So they are sure. asymptotically same variance. They have same variance. <coughs> WIC has also same values as, mm -hmm. as them. So that means that uh, they have well some well the similar bias basically from the expectation. Similar uh, similar I bias. Mean, bias uh, the variance is just our expectation <laughs> again, and uh, variance variance of the uh, <laughs> the data. Yeah, variance over the data. I'm talking about variance over. They have same, same variance, oh. asymptotically. And a higher order, uh, so the rate, uh, the... Um, higher, you, you ask higher order? No, 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 I'm not talking about higher order asymptotics, but the, um, what is the rate of the deviation? Ah, uh, the rate, yeah. uh, the rate. If the, the rate is very high, uh, then the... the <laughs> deviation of... Um, so, uh, the standard deviation of the generalization error minus entropy is equal to that, that of stand, uh, 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 the, uh, so, so, uh, okay. <laughs> so, this is 1 over n, and the standard deviation g minus s is, is, is in proportion to 1 over n. Okay. Yeah. This is expectation. Yeah, that's expectation. Yeah. So the the variance as a standard deviation, z minus s, is equal to one over. Okay, I see. Same order. Okay, I see. So, in in some cases, that that is well, somehow masks are. <laughs> Expectation. Must be uh, well, I mean that uh, <laughs> they have the same order. So that if the sample is well, uh, with some well, in some unlucky case, we have a, a slightly different value by c computing their 
T, for example, or T or W, by example. <laughs> oh, maybe <laughs> we can <laughs> talk about <laughs> Yeah. Any others? Okay, then let's thank the speaker again.